Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Chris with M7 Metal Works. Um, got a new project today. We're gonna work on a, a brittle meat cleaver. We're gonna make a copy of this meat cleaver, actually. Some of you may have watched the video where I restore this meat cleaver. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy of this out of some plate stainless that I have. A buddy of mine, when I showed him this knife, he loved it. He butchers a lot of deer, and um, man, he loved this knife as much as I think I love it. He loved this knife, and um, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy for him out of stainless. He won't have to worry about it rusting. I think it'll hold a good edge, though it's an unknown um, um, stainless steel to me. I still think it'll hold a good edge, and so I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be a fun project, so stay with me and uh, follow along. I've got the first grind, um, and that's the wide grind that you see here. And then to try to make it a little bit of a convex edge, because he's going to be chopping into bone um, with this. So I don't want too thin of, of an edge. I want to have some meat on there. And so um, I've ground in a second edge on top. I'm not sure. I'll try to move that a little bit so you can catch both edges a little bit. Okay, guys, we're pretty deep into this build, and so um, trying to get this meat cleaver copied only in a stainless steel form. The problem is, is I've done some research, and this is 304, and stainless 304 does not make good knife steel. So what, what I've done is I've cut off an inch and about a half um, of the blade of that knife, and so what I've done now is um, I'm going to take a piece of high carbon steel and I'm going to weld it to our stainless steel cleaver. And so that presents some problems we're going to have to overcome. Um, stainless, when it gets welded, it doesn't like um, the heat and so it likes to wave on you. And so um, welding it and keeping it straight is going to be a challenge and then also quenching that high carbon steel is going to be a bit of a challenge as well. But it'll be fun, it'll be a good learning experience and I think I can save this knife. I hate that I put a lot of work into the grind uh, on it, but
As you can see here, guys, I've got two very thick plates of aluminum. Those are acting as a heat sink for me uh, on that stainless. And I'm just tack welding, and then I'll weld the um, high carbon steel um, one inch um, wide piece of steel there to the end of this using 309 filler rod. All right, guys, try to give you a little sense of what we're looking at here. So here's the handle. So I've ground on a bunch of this. I don't like the transition. It's not all that pretty, and I don't really like it. I would have preferred to have a great well. So there's what I've got right now. Okay, that's after I've taken a little bit of the color off of it. Looks pretty nice. Now I'm just letting it cool. I never did care for the weld guys, so I ended up grinding this weld off. Here you can just see I've got it in the forge getting ready to heat treat this um, blade. Don't freak out here guys, but I had to put a pretty good bend in that thing. I've actually cut it and just kind of bent it over. Very easy to um, bend it back and then, um, just weld it up, so um, not a problem at all, but I know that gets some guys freaked out. Here I'm just putting my touch mark into it. This metal's so soft, I really don't even need to heat it. That stainless steel is just super soft. And here I'm kind of wasting my time with a lot of sanding because at the end of the day I put it on the grinder and ground all that weld off. Same thing with the finish here. Kind of a lot of wasted time. I use a five minute epoxy when I'm putting up my putting on my scales and then I use some brass pins these brass pins I actually just salvaged from an old grand piano probably a hundred year old piano or more
Okay, so after grinding on the weld to try to make that smooth, I still have some low areas on the knife that I'm just gonna try to um, work with my polishing belt. And um, this is the new Ameribrade grinder that I have. And so I've got an ultra fine, um, kind of a scotch Bright type belt on here. So you can see the um, scotch Bright belt did a pretty good job. It's an ultra fine, got from Combat Abrasives. And uh, really, I'm not trying to grind out those little low areas. I was just trying to uh, mask them somewhat by blending them just a little bit. And, uh, you know, it actually looks worse here in the video just because of the lighting and the way the light catches those little low areas. Um, small little abrasion on this side as well. but. Um, actually looks very, very good um, in daylight. So you can even see the weld area. And that's about a half inch, or I'm sorry, a one inch piece of high carbon steel that I welded to this stainless steel frame in upper portion of the blade. Real happy with the way the knife turned out. Has a real good feel. So if you like this uh, video and you want to see more similar items, it won't always be meat cleavers, obviously. I'll probably not do another one for a long time. But don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And uh, if you have something you're interested in me doing, let me know. And if I'm able to do it, I'll certainly put it on the list. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks.